So this is the power glove and it's probably the most ridiculous Nintendo accessory ever made. It was made popular by the cult classic movie The Wizard, which was released 30 years ago. 30 years ago, holy shit, I saw this in a theater. If you don't know what The Wizard is, it just celebrated its 30 year anniversary, but the biggest star of that movie was undoubtedly Nintendo. To be honest, I've never even seen a Power Glove actually work because who has? So in honor of this landmark movie and this completely nonsensical, absurd accessory, I wanted to try and get a Power Glove to work in 2020. And joining me on this quest, I rounded up my friends Vinny the Fuzz Caravella and Dan the Goose Reichert from Giant Bomb. Check it out. All right, so there is another like apparatus that's supposed to surround the yes, TV. Yes, according to this cartoon. According to this cartoon. Yes. With this cool dude and this not so cool dude. Yeah, which one am I? Uh, oh, hey, mister. <laughs> what are all these buttons for? There's a lot of buttons for an NES controller. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. So here's a little history tip. TVs were a lot smaller and squarer and heavier, different ratios and had depth to them. So why don't you take a look at the thing Jeff has, which is never going to fit <laughs> the TV. Look at this. It didn't like extendo, nothing like that? No, extendo, no, no, Nintendo. <laughs> Pressing start or select turns on the LED panel. Look at this. It's, it's doing a thing. It should work, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> For Ben, first finger is the A button. Bend thumb is the B button. That's how you punch. You're trying to hit start. And then you, you push, push start. start. All right. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> Let's do it, Glass Joe. I don't think. I don't think that's how it's gonna work. That's not how that's gonna work. I think you have to like smooth your thumb. What's happening? I'm sure. I want to punch. That's all I ever want to do with this. That's not gonna happen. Work. Okay. Now now try pointing it, and then just using your index right here and thumb. Are you? This isn't fighting. Your thumb. Your thumb. Your thumb. Your thumb. Yeah. Get it. Watch out! He's a fighting ass. Look at that. Why so big? Up and jump. Up and punch. Trying to go up. Oh, trust me. I'm trying to. Hit him in the face. No. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I did that. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, duck, duck, duck. Oh no! No, no, no! Duck, duck, duck! duck. I... You got a duck! Dan, Dan, uh oh. I don't know what. I don't uh, know. I just. Oh, that feels. Real. Oh, I wore a VR helmet after Benny. This feels yeah. <laughs> My face is like a sponge of sweat. I'm starting to think nothing worked. <laughs> oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 whoa,
It's when the three heroes in the movie have an encounter with this kid douchebag boss villain character named Lucas. We watched a bunch of scenes from this movie that has not aged well. Take a look. He's uh, serious. He's got his own. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've never used one of those, but it seems like it'd get sweaty. They're hugely chintzy pieces of yeah. yeah, they're bad. I can't get around him. <laughs> they should have made his hair blowing. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> I love the power of love. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's so bad. So while the plot of The Wizard follows three kids making a cross-country trip to enter a video game contest, the film's actual inception was very much a plan to promote Nintendo's games, and it was the first look many Americans had at Super Mario Bros. 3. That's why I say Mario, get over it. Now, imagine it being 1989, and while video games are very much a thing, they kind of barely crossed into mainstream popular culture. When this movie came out, I remember losing my goddamn mind with my friends. I watched 90 minutes of this thing with my jaw on the floor, and when that last scene shows up and they reveal Super Mario 3 for the first time, you're just like, what am I watching? Oh my god. Super Mario Brothers 3! Oh my gosh, wow. look how big that screen is! Couldn't, so couldn't handle it. So shaky. Couldn't handle it. He's already on the third, right? He doesn't even know. How would you know about like the raccoon tail and everything? I forget, how are they judging this? I think you know, points? Scores? Points? Right, I forgot Mario Brothers games even had scores. Yeah, they're kind of point, yeah, looks pointless. Yeah, like points. But... Uh oh! What's he doing? Oh no! How did he know? Going he knows high. Something. He's a wizard. It's the magic in him. So yeah, maybe this movie has not aged very well, and by today's standards, perhaps it's very bad. But it definitely serves as a precursor to just how explosively popular video games would become in our culture. And yeah, the Power Glove was a joke and it didn't work at all, but we got there. The Nintendo Wii made that stuff real. Motion controls are now a thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little experiment here. Let us know if you ever had a power glove. If you did, I don't know what the hell was going on in your family. Uh, and whether or not you thought the wizard was the reason you actually owned one. I don't know who you people are, but you're out there. Thanks for watching.